Hello guys, this is David. This is the third video in this uh, tutorial, hands-on training on LaTeX. Today we are going to see how to create a simple table in LaTeX document. Without wasting time, let's go to the Tech Studio. Here is our Tech Studio. I have maintaining the same thing whichever is there in the last time. The class I am using today is article class and the title I have written as a tutorial on creating little uh, in late, creating tables in LaTeX. Author is me and begin document and end document, make title and section. So this make title takes all the inputs from this title and author and keeps it here with this date. The section, how to create a simple table in LaTeX. Let's go. So to create a table, you should know two things. One is tabular environment. That is really important. That is a source thing to create a table. That is slash begin tabular and end tabular. You can see that Tech Studio telling you to write the columns. Let me create a three column table. What is the CCC means is uh, the alignment of the first column should be center and alignment of the second column should be center. Maybe I can keep it as left or I'll keep it as the alignment of the first column to center and alignment of the second column to be uh, sorry, alignment of the first column to be left alignment of the second column to be center and alignment of the third column to be right. To split the columns, we should use the ambassador symbol. For example, here uh, this is uh, some AAA and BBB and CCC. So this, let's compile and check. So this pops up something like here. A A A B B B B C C C C. What this does is it creates the first column first row and first column second row and first column third row. So each column is separated by the ambassador symbol. So to create a new row, so use the double slash. So let's come back. So dum D D D and E E F F F. It. So now we have created a simple LaTeX document. So let's do something else. The hatch line command will produce a line in the top. In fact, horizontal line everywhere, wherever you want. So after each line, after each row, if I want a horizontal line, let's write hatch line in each end of the each row. So as you see, it's creating lines everywhere. Again, hatch line. Oh, sorry. That's because I haven't placed the row end. And the horizontal bars are be controlled by the vertical bar over here. So if you keep vertical lines, it keeps lines everywhere. Again, like in the figure environment, it, there is called tabular environment, which you can wrap the tabular environment using the table environment. Let me wrap it. Begin table and slash end table. So compile. As we have seen already, the figure environment does the same action. It also went somewhere else, which means that the table environment is also a floating environment which you should control using the floating options so that you can give it with the square brackets uh, just after the slash begin table as we have done in the further figure environment horizontal uh, sorry here top bottom anywhere in the document so h means keep it here if possible t means keep it in the next page top B means keep it in the next page bottom or keep it anywhere else in the document. So now this fixes that's floating. To center the table, we know that 
just type slash centering just before the table it center the table what about the caption of the table so slash caption this is my first table in latex you may be noticing that i am typing latex in a code called slash capital l small a capital d small e capital x which is a proper way to write latex which gives I'll put like this so this is the caption we know that we can label this fig a table to call back uh, maybe i'm labeling as my first sorry my my table so what is the advantage of this labeling is you can call the table number in the content so in the table slash ref this for reference Table. What is the label of the table? It's table. Table. My table. That's it. So this takes the table number. Whatever you want, right? That's it, guys. This tutorial is uh, the source files of this tutorial is up uploaded in the GitHub repository. You can uh, go to the GitHub rep. Uh, my GitHub repository. The link is given in the description box, and this is the repository hands-on tutorials on LaTeX. Uh, this is the source file which is uh, for today. If you have any problem in uh, or if you have any doubts, you can create an issue here. You create a new issue, and I'll be very happy to answer this. Thank you, guys.